Right. Hello. Hola. Hello. Salut. Um, welcome to the U Talk quiz. We'll just wait a few seconds for everyone to join. Um, so whilst we wait, please feel free to introduce yourself in the chat. Um, tell us what languages you speak, where you're from, uh, what talks you're looking forward to watching at Expo Lingua. Um, it's great to have you with us. Hello, Jakob. Nice to meet you. And yeah, just um, introduce yourself. We'd, we'd love to get to know you via the chat. And one thing to note, um, it would be great if you could put uh, two panellists and attendees. Uh, otherwise, only I can see. Um, and it would be great if everybody can see your comments in the chat. Amazing, we've got someone from Dubai, someone from Germany, more and more people are coming in, that's great. So let me introduce myself as well. Um, my name is Emily and I am based in London. Um, I work for this company, this company called Utalk and I am the languages manager. Um, and I'm very much excited to share some um, language trivia with you today and find out who, who is the master, who has the, the most language trivia knowledge at Expo Lingua this year. All right, so keep on introducing yourself in the chat as we just make sure that we have everyone on board before we start the quiz. We've got someone from South Korea, amazing, all the way from South Korea, awesome. We have someone from France, someone from Brazil, another person from the UK, that's great. Hi, Maisie Rose, awesome to have you with us on board today. All right, so um, it would be great if everybody had their mobile phone because this is what we will be using to answer the quiz questions. So if you don't have that with you yet, I will give you a couple of seconds to go and grab your phone or another device that you can use. Okay, so welcome to everybody who's just joined us. Thank you so much for coming and spending the next half an hour with us. And we're gonna have lots of fun. Um, we're gonna have some questions on history, geography, culture, language trivia, all sorts. And did I mention that we also have some prizes up for grabs? So the top prize winner will win lifetime access to the Utalk app. This is an app for a fun game, game app for uh, learning 145 languages um, and you can learn them from any language on there. Um, so this is, this is a great prize. If you like languages, you're definitely going to want to check that out. Um, and then for second place, so our, our second place prize winner, they will win access to five languages on the Utalk app. And then we also have a prize for third place, which is um, access to one language on the app. So plenty of chances to win. But we will start off with a warm up round just to make sure that everyone is comfortable, everyone is happy with how it works. Um, so we will actually save the prizes for the, the main round, the official round that we will do after we are nice and warmed up. Okay, so I think that we have everyone on board now. So let me share my screen. Okay, so hopefully everyone can now see my screen. Um, if you can't, please let me know in the chat. And what you need to do is take your mobile phone and go to kahoot.it and then enter this game pin, which is 1672890. And we've got people coming in already. We've got Hannah, Vicky, Susie. But I know there's a lot more people who are going to be coming in, so I will give you a minute just to, to enter and get ready for this fun quiz. So don't forget this one is just a warm-up round. 
So this will help you get used to how it works. Um, for those of you who have not used Kahoot before, it's really easy. Um, you will see the questions appear on my screen and I will read them out to you. And then you will have four options and you have to pick the one option that you think is correct. And you actually score more points if you um, get there the fastest. So you want to get the right answer, but you also want to get the right answer the quickest to be in with the best chance of winning a prize. Okay, but remember, no prizes for this round. We're just warming up and getting used to it for those of you who haven't used Kahoot before. Um, yeah, so don't worry. And do let us know in the chat if you have any technical issues or there's anything that you're not sure about. Okay, I'll just wait a couple more seconds before we kick off. So for this warm up round, we just have six questions and you'll have 20 seconds to answer each question. All right, so we have 38 people in. Just going to wait. Uh, a couple more seconds because someone else has just joined. Just want to make sure everyone has the chance to take part. All right, almost there. Don't forget, um, you can add any comments in the chat that you would like. Um, we would love you to get involved, share any of your own language trivia knowledge. Um, yeah, but please don't write the answers in the chat. Um, otherwise you will um, probably not win and you want to win. You want to win these amazing prizes that we have up for grabs. Okay, I am going to shut the room in three, two, one. All right, let's get this started. Okay, question one. What is the official language of Quebec? Is it English, French, Cree, or German? Yes, indeed, it is French. A nice, easy question there for you to warm up. Okay, question number two. What script is this? Is it Hangul, Bengali, Assamese, Devanagari, or Cyrillic? Good job, it is indeed Devanagari and this, it means Namaskar in uh, Hindi, I believe. Okay, let's keep going with the questions. Question number three. If I ask for Earl in Sweden, what will I get? Chips, oil, a bunch of flowers or beer? So definitely one that you want to know if you take a trip to Sweden. Okay, can anyone knock Susie off the top spot? Let's see, question four. Which language uses the semicolon symbol to mark a question? Is it Hebrew, Greek, Arabic, or Japanese? That's right, it is Greek and it's the only language in the world that uses this symbol to mark a question. Okay, so remember this is only the warm-up round, um, but we've got some really high scores already. Question number five, where is Malagasy spoken? Is it Martinique, Madagascar, 
Malaysia for Happier New Guinea. Excellent, it is indeed Madagascar. Okay, Susie is on fire. Um, so we're now moving into our final question of our warm up round, number six. Which one of these following languages is endangered? Is it Sami, Tata, Mongolian or Akkadian? It is Sami. And I caught a few of you out with Akkadian because this language is actually extinct already. So it's, it's beyond endangered, unfortunately. Um, okay, let's take a quick look at our top three for this warm up round. Okay, so in third place, we have Marcus. Congratulations. So the second place we have Susie, so someone knocked her off the top spot and that person was Yo-Yo! Congratulations! Alright! Good job, good job! How was that? And are you ready for the official quiz now that we are all nicely warmed up? <laughs> Okay, so um, before we kick off our official quiz, let me uh, let you catch your breath and just quickly let you know about a special offer that we have, which is exclusive for all of you attendees of Expo Lingua. Um, and this is 50% off uh, access to our app. Um, I mentioned this before, we have 145 languages. Um, so if you miss out on a prize, you still have the chance to access the app um, and you still have the chance to get it at a really, really cheap offer. Um, Stefan is definitely not too late to join. We're just about to kick off the official round. Um, yes, so I would just finish telling you about the special offer that we have. Um, I think that my colleague Charlotte will be able to share the link in the chat in just a second um, if this is something that you would like to check out. Um, but without further ado, let me just get up the next screen ready for our official round. Um, do you feel free to chat amongst yourselves in the chat as I just get this up and ready in two seconds? Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so we have a new pin for this round. And that pin is one six, uh, sorry, one nine six, nine six five. And we've got lots of people coming in already. Excellent stuff. Okay, so this time we have 13 questions. Again, we have 20 seconds to answer each question. Um, and this time there are prizes up for grabs. So we'll just wait a few more seconds to make sure that everyone has had the chance to make their way in. And then we will kick off. The, if anyone can knock those top three from the warm up quiz of the top spots. All right. Well, we don't have loads of time. So, without further ado, let's kick off our official quiz. Okay, question one, which one of these languages is written from left to right? Is it Aramaic, Urdu, Tamil, or Farsi? Good 
Good job, it is indeed Tamil. All right, question number two. Which one of the following languages uses the letter R? Estonian, Icelandic, Norwegian, or Samoan? That was a nice easy one, a lot of you got that. Good job. We've got Vicky in first place, closely followed by Maria. Okay, question number three. The three official languages of Papua New Guinea are English, Tokpitin, and Yerevan, Ketubu, Kirimotu, or Bosabi. Good job, a lot of you knew that one. So there are an amazing over 800 languages spoken in Papua New Guinea, but these three official ones. Okay, moving on to question four. Let's meet after work on Yumatano. Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, or Tuesday? Ah, not many of you guessed Wednesday. Not such a usual day of the week to meet up on after work, I guess. So I caught some of you out there. Um, this actually is Swahili. Okay, Vicky is doing so well, closely followed by Toe. But we still have plenty of questions left. So number five, in France, if I'm eating raisin, what am I eating? Grapes, dried mixed fruit, prunes, or raisins? Good job. We have a false friend here, but I did not catch that many of you out. So um, yeah, in French, if you want to ask for raisins, then that is actually chazan sec. A lot of you knew that already. All right. Moving on to six. Which of these languages does Latvian not borrow from? Polish, Russian, Danish, or German? Excellent stuff. Yeah, the correct answer is Danish. Okay, moving on to number seven. The word chocolate originally comes from which language? Sanskrit, Italian, Latin, or Nahuatl? That was answered so speedily. I am really impressed. Let's see how we're doing on the leaderboard. Ha, ah, those top players are not moving. Wow. Okay, we still have some more questions, so it could all change. Question number eight. In how many countries is Portuguese an official language? Is it 12, seven, Eight or ten? Yeah, it is actually eight, eight different countries, including Brazil, Cape Verde, East Timor, Mozambique, um, to name just a few. Okay, 
Question number nine. Bengali is also known as Bangla, Bengali, Bangli, or Bengla. Excellent, it is Bangla. I actually made the rest of the language names up. So as far as I know, the other language names actually don't exist. Um, but Bengali or Bangla is actually the seventh most spoken language in the world. Don't know if you knew that, but that was a surprise for me. Um, not one that immediately springs to mind when you're thinking about um, the most spoken languages of the world. Okay, so let's check that leaderboard and see how we're doing. So we have Vicky in the top spot still. She's not moved for a while. Um, but second place, Sarah, I think she might have just jumped up. So good job, Sarah. And then at the moment, we have Susie in third place. Um, these might be our prize winners, but you don't know what the next questions are. So I, I've saved some tricky ones for the end. So let's see how you fare with them. Okay, so question number 10. Which one of these languages does not assign noun genders? Arabic, Vietnamese, Hebrew, or Icelandic? All right, you guys really know your stuff. Um, yeah, the correct answer is Vietnamese. Arabic, Hebrew, and Icelandic, they all assign noun genders, which makes sending them that bit more difficult, I think. Okay, so Maria has jumped right up there. Nice work. Okay, question 11. What would you do with the Ugandan Bahasi? Would you eat it, wear it, drink it, or write it? Well done for those three people who got that. I did promise you some harder questions. Um, so Bahasi, it actually means bus in Ugandan, which is the language that they speak in Uganda. Okay, so we have a bit of movement on that leaderboard. Um, not many questions left to go. So you're gonna want to make these ones count now. Okay, so question 12. What is a servo slang for in Australian English? Is it supermarket, dentist, petrol station, or bank? Oh, we definitely have some people who have been to Australia. Um, indeed, it is short for service station, or in British English, we would call it petrol station. Um, Australian is really, really well known for its slang. Um, so some other slang includes uh, Vicky, Trucky, and Refo. So you can use some of them if you take a trip to Australia sometime. All right. Okay, so Vicky is still really on top there. Um, yeah, she has not moved for a while. Um, but we have Elena Italy, who has just jumped out of nowhere, apparently, into second place, um, followed by Jinyun. And so, yeah, we have our final question. So let's see, see what happens. Okay, so question number 13. Dip sum is Chinese, but what is Xiaoxim? in Korean. Is it lunch, dessert, brunch, or breakfast? Yeah, it actually means lunch in Korean. So same characters, um, different pronunciation, obviously. 
And that was our final question for today for the official U Talk quiz. Um, but if this has left you wanting more, don't worry because we actually have more quizzes on Friday. Um, so do make sure that you sign up for that. But before we finish, we definitely need to find out who our prize winners are. So let's check out the podium and see who wins. Okay, in third place, we have Elena Italy. Congratulations. In second place, we have Jin Yun. Good job. And going for the gold, we have Vicky. Congratulations to our three prize winners. Um, but you all did so, so well. And um, yeah, it was, it was so much fun hanging out with you for this half an hour and finding out some more language trivia. Um, yeah, thank you so much for coming. And if you're one of the lucky prize winners, then please email me at, it's the side, isn't it? Emily at utalk.com. And then I can contact you and um, arrange to get those prizes over to you. Um, if there's someone from Utalk on the quiz, if someone could also write that in the chat, that would be much appreciated. So everyone can see that. Um, we will also hopefully publish our leaderboard on our Facebook page. Um, so please do follow us on Facebook if you would like to see um, where you rank. And um, also we announce other quizzes and other fun events that we put on, on our Facebook page. Um, so if you follow us, then you'll make sure that you don't miss out on, on any of them um, in the future. And as I mentioned before, um, if you did miss out on a prize today, don't worry, you can still access the Utalk app. Um, as I said, we have a special link for um, exclusively for everyone coming to Expo Lingua. Um, you can find this on our Utalk page on the Expo Lingua website. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, we would love you to check it out and let us know what you think of it. Um, and also do come along to our quiz on Friday this Friday from 3 to 3.30 CET if you want some more quiz fun. Um, thank you to everyone in the chat who said thank you, thank you for your kind comments. Um, it was great to have you with us and it would be awesome to see you again on Friday. Um, fantastic and one more thing before you go. Uh, my colleague Charlotte will be presenting a fascinating talk tomorrow on Indigenous languages of Europe. Um, that will be from 4.45 to 5.15 tomorrow. Um, so please do sign up for this talk and all of the other fantastic talks that will be happening at Expo Lingua over the course of the next four days. Um, so yeah, as I said, it was great having you with us. Um, please, if you want to get in touch, I would love to hear from you. Any questions, any comments, um, emily at utalk.com is the place to get in touch. Um, especially if you're a language school, um, a school of business, we also do work with affiliates. Um, if any of that interests you, then we would be so, so happy to hear from you. Um, so yeah, look forward to hearing from you and um, enjoy the rest of Expo Lingua and hope to see you again very, very soon. Thank you very much.